Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. In this video, we're going to take a look at Cyanogen Mod 14, which is based on Android 7.0, the latest version of Android, running on the first generation Moto G, this model here, which was released back in 2013. So I'm just going to boot it up. Okay, so we've got the signage and mod boot animation there. So that booted quickly. So um, before I start the video, I'm just going to give a special thanks to Eurofighter underscore TY over on XDA Developers for developing this custom ROM because... As you all may know, this device is like three years old now, so it's not going to see the official Android 7.0 update. But thanks to Eurofighter underscore TY, he's the one who's working on this for us. So special thanks to him, because if it wasn't for him, there's no way we'd be <laughs> getting a taste of Android 7.0. So um, I'll leave a link to his thread in the description down below. So go visit his thread. You guys can even donate to him because he's put in a lot of awesome work to bring us this ROM. Um, so yeah, Eurofighter, special thanks to you. So I'm just going to, first of all, go into the settings and show you all the Android version. So about phone. And here you have it, Android version 7.0. Android N, Nougat. And down here we have the uh, signage and mod version here, which is 14, like I said before. This is the unofficial version. Okay, so I installed this ROM yesterday, and I've got to say it's very good. I've not had any issues with it. In fact, I've had one issue with it, which is a minor issue. The video recording doesn't work. But apart from that, everything else does work. So, um, Wi-Fi works. As you can see, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi there. Also, Bluetooth works. And also... I can make phone calls, I can send text. So let's just go into the status here and check out the SIM status. So I'm on the EE network there and I've got my signal strength there. And up here in the top right hand corner, so you can see I've got a full five bars there. So the reception is really good and I've got my Wi-Fi on there. So like I said, everything's working with this ROM. I've not had any random reboots. The ROM is very smooth. And it's also very quick. So I'm just going to show you all the camera, show you what I was talking about. So <clears throat> I can take pictures. And I can view them back in the gallery here. But when I turn on the video camcorder. And I press record. It'll start and then it'll stop. So it's not recording video. But you can still take pictures. So if you want to use this as a daily driver, you can do. If you're not really bothered about the video recording not working, you can really use this as a daily driver. Because like I said, it's very stable. I've had no issues with it except the video recording. 
So um, once again, special thanks to Eurofire underscore TY over on XDA. Um, props to you, mate. You've parted this ROM to us very quickly. I was I was not really expecting this on the first gen Moto G till probably like November or um, December, but you've you've parted it really quick. I'm really surprised. So hats off to you. For the viewers who want to install this, you will need to unlock your bootloader. You'll need TWRP recovery installed, and you'll also need root access. If you don't know how to unlock your bootloader and how to root and how to do TWRP, I will do a full tutorial showing you how to do everything and how to install this onto your first gen Moto G. If you want to see a full tutorial, please leave your comment in the comment section down below telling me to do a full tutorial and I'll try to do it this weekend. Um, for the viewers who already know what you're doing, just click on the link in the description down below. Go to Euro Fighters thread over on XDA, to download the ROM and install it. So anyway, this is it for the video guys. If you like the video, you already know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to your boy the Android Doctor. More videos on the way. Deuces.